It's mutant bobblehead day for the first 10,000 fans with extra limbs here at Three Mile Island Stadium here in Steeltown, Pennsylvania. I got seven extra knuckles, Grim. Hey, extra fingers and toes don't count. And today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams are taking the field. The Malice Hellboys take on the Blitzburg Steelheads. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. It's game day here on the MFL Network, and we are just about to get underway. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow, along with Brickhead Mulligan. Hi. Any thoughts on today's game? Uh, uh, mm. uh, no, nope, not really. Kind of flatlining right now in the thoughts department. Uh, hey, can you help me get this pencil out of my ear? It's stuck worse than it was the last time. Yeah, you idiot. And it's first and ten. He picks up five on that play. Second down and five. Murphy Brown! What? I mean, first down! What the hell was that? I, uh, I honestly don't know, Grim. Full man about a six-yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my parole officer calls, I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night in lockup for solicitation. Talking about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. Third and four. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross-stitching, unbelievable. And he's got a chance for a good return here. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And it's first and ten. One yard is better than nothing, but not by much. Second down and nine. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I hadn't have made it the dice grim. And it's first and ten. First and ten. Hunter 
when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. Now it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. Thank God he's still got his leg. He's gonna need all of it for this kick. Hey, a sawbuck says he misses. He's got the distance, and the kick is good! Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. First and ten. And he was running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks. And it's first and ten. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Yo, man, nobody can touch the fireball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? And here comes the extra point attempt. Straight through the uprights. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Second down and a lot. Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. And it's first and ten. And we've got a tight battle here as quarter one comes to an end. for six yards. Good mitts on that play, Briggs. His fingers are like a bunch of sausages. And that'll be second down and four. Oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Grim. First down and six. Oh, with the brain scrambler. Second and three.
Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And it's first and ten. should be their bread and butter. A gain of eight right there. Hey, anyone seen that Korean kid yet with my barbecue? Last time I ordered Korean, I got Kim Jong-il. <laughs> and picks up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I got a... Uh... <clears throat> hey, you got a dollar for the bathroom attendant? He threatened me if I didn't tip him next time. First and ten. And he runs it for four yards. Second down and six. Pressure right there, folks. And that'll be second down and four. That's a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Ah, oh, scumbag is killing me in fantasy league. Four. It's two yard run before he stopped. I'd be impressed if he splits the uprights from this far away, Bricks. Yeah, if he doesn't, they're going to split his skull wide open. The kick is good. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Two minutes left in the half. throw and assuming he was aiming for the ground second down and ten you ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim nope 
Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times. And he takes a timeout here. They have two left. I wonder if he has a plan. Well, maybe he's just going to take the teeth out of the back of his neck that have been stuck there since the opening play. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. A timeout is called by the quarterback. They have one left. And it's first and ten. And the defense just knocked the wind out of that quarterback. <laughs> and they are out of timeout. The clock just became their greatest enemy. Really? The clock? The clock, Grim? I can smash a clock. That's not a great enemy. We're not talking about waking up in the crack of noon. We're talking about the MFL, you moron. And he breaks away. <laughs> and the offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And he throws that one to the sidelines. And it's first and ten. And this guy is making a name for himself tonight with a pickup of about ten on that play. Hey, he makes up a name for himself every night. That's how he stays ahead of the bounty hunters. He's wanted in 50 states. It's a close battle as the quarter ends. Halftime is brought to you by those caring folks at Monsatan Industries. They make the world a better place by making the government tell you it is. It's anyone's game as the third quarter begins. Both teams have taken their performance-enhancing drugs, and everyone is ready to rock and roll. The teams line up for the second-half kickoff. <laughs> They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. scary movies after that hit. Yeah, it sounds like my off season. Second down and two. <laughs> he had it for a second there. Third and two. somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. You've got to catch that. Second down and ten. Like he just ran into the line at the DMV. And guess what, Grim? That line ain't moving. Yeah, that was kind of my point, Bricks. Third down and ten. 
Defense was there, but he still picked up a yard somehow. And getting ready for the kick. This isn't a gimme. It's good. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. Oh, what a brutal hit. And it's first and ten. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. Second down and ten. Third down and long. for six yards. Now well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on here. Nice catch, and he turns on the afterburners. Punt returners in this league have a pow with the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. And they pick up nine with that catch. Uh, not enough for first, but still a nice game. And that'll bring up second and one. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. And it's first and ten. A nice run there for eight yards. Second down and two. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it too. Third and two. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. And it's first and ten. He rifled that one in there, and they come up with ten yards on the play. Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. Third and two. a run for no gain then it's not really a run is it man this coach must have played too many video games you gotta punt it here come on that's the end of the third quarter this game is going to come down to the wire i love that show jeez i could make a kick that easy Hell, I couldn't make a kick that easy, and I didn't even have feet. 
Wow, surprise me. He made it look easy and he gets three points for it. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. And that is caught for a first down. And it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. Oh, great pass on that play. They caught the defense napping. And they'll bring him third down in inches. The punter for today is being played by my kid's sister. Or at least it seems. And he just lets that one go. He says, no, thank you. And the defense downs it. And it's first and ten. And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five on that play. Second down and five. Not much there, maybe a yard. Third and four. Ouch! What is this, Andy's wrestling? And it's first and ten. Four yards on that one, and he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. Second down and six. No, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Catch the ball, asshole. Third down and six. And they stack the line and he gets his bell rung for a yard. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. Oh, nice hit. for a second there. Second down and ten. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. Oh, 
way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. And they quickly call a timeout to stop the clock. First and eight to go. And he picks up about six on the play. The quarterback is controlling the clock like the clock is into it. I know I am. Second down and two. And that's just a great run for a touchdown. Hey, Bricks, they're going for two here. plays are high risk high reward and it just didn't pay off and now they're both screwed and stupid the home crowd isn't impressed with that showing but their team has a chance to respond oh great tackle when his brain is unscrambled he'll be thinking about that hit yeah most likely in a convalescent home and it's first and ten. And he held on to that one for a first down. Smart move there, stopping the clock with their first time out. And for all you know, maybe he's just stalling or wiring the refs some cash. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brent's match stupsing time. That's why the girls call me Speedy Gonzalez. He dropped it. If he does that again, they'll drop him. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. And he was stuck to him like glue. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. Well, oh, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole, up here. Talking to you. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. He sits up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. Oh, with a brutal hit! <laughs> the Steelheads walk away victorious today. It was a hell of a battle, and they had just enough to cross the finish line. Good thing they got juiced at halftime. I want to get juiced now after listening to you two the entire game. Listen up, guys. The MVP is about to speak. Grim <laughs> Blitzrow with Brick and Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.